Okay, Aries, so um, coming into the month of April, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Strong, grounded Earth energy for you. Can represent a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And basically, Aries, I feel like this is you. You're kind of representative of this lady in the red dress, which red is very corresponding to the sign of Aries. And you're at your place of employment. You are at your job. You are doing what you consider work. And I just feel that you might be getting a little restless. You may be getting a little bored. It may not even be dramatic. This may not even be catastrophic to you. But there's something, you know, Aries, you are the pioneer. You are the one that goes where angels fear to tread. It's all about fresh starts, new beginnings. And not only that, this is your time. This is your essence. This is Aries. This is the month of you. And your energy is about the new possibilities, the fresh horizons. You know, the grass might really be greener on the other side. So even though I feel that you are very grounded in what you're doing right now, you've obviously, you've excelled, Aries. You've done well. We have an eight of pentacles here. Whatever you've been working on, whatever project, whatever job, whatever company, you've shown them your stuff. You've shown them that you have abilities, you have skills. But now you're, you're sensing something. Your intuition is heightened. You know, your head is turned. You're listening. You're not taking any dramatic steps yet. You're not jumping to conclusions. But I just feel for some of you, something's in the air and you're trying to listen. You can see that she kind of like, she's still in her same position, but her ear is open. Her ear is wide open. Aries, you never get rest. You never get stagnant. And for you to stand still is to die. So whether you stay in your current position or you stay pursuing this, if anything, there, you need to grow. You need to press on. You know, for you, you need a constant challenge. And you're, you're open to that. You're like, okay, I've achieved this. I've achieved that. Now, where can I go next? What's this new beginning? What's this new direction? So I feel that this is going to be a special month for you, being your birth month, your essence, the joy of being an Aries, you know, the thing that you are just naturally blessed with, endowed with, and good at is what you're going to be doing. And it might possibly cause you to think about something different in your life, a new way, something exciting, just to, to mix things up, to keep it fresh. Okay, so what you are currently valuing and identifying with, we have the Four of Swords. You can tell that this person, once again, we have a female, so this could be representative of the female Aries, but it could also just be if you're a male, it could be your feminine side, you know, your more emotional side, your more intuitive side. All I'm getting with this is that you're really seeking solitude. You're needing, you know, every time it's someone's birthday, I feel like it's a time for us to step back, to reflect. And in order for you to do that, Aries, you need to have this tranquility. You need to have this solitude. I also feel, Aries, that, you know, there's something that you are needing to detach from and you understand that now, whether this is a relationship, a job, something that you really were hoping would come to pass, would come to fruition. Maybe whatever the situation was, this earth sign or your career, maybe it didn't pan out the way you thought. And because of that, you're needing to step back. You're needing to take your own time to kind of comfort yourself, have peace and quiet, you might need a little extra rest this month. You might need to spend some time to recharge your batteries and just allow yourself. If that is needed, don't beat yourself up for it. You will become, you will come out more victorious and more powerful. And, you know, whatever this eight of pentacles was, you worked hard, Aries. You worked your tail off. And it takes a lot to get to that point. Whatever this is, you exerted yourself. So now the body and the mind and the soul and the spirit is saying, I just need to detach. I just need to like cut myself, off, cut myself off for a bit from this intensity. And I do feel this is going to be temporary. I mean, it could just be a couple days. It could be, you know, a week. It could be having to take out a few days out of the month to, to just recharge. But if this is what you need to do, by all means, listen to it.
Now, the possible distraction, illusion, or doubt, I actually think is tied into this Four of Swords. We actually have the Page of Swords, which is considered the Watchman. So I do feel that a lot of you um, Aries are dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and I feel that they have given you some trouble. They have given you a challenge. They have pushed you. Um, they are possibly... They could even be pushing your buttons. <laughs> um, and this person is sneaky, whoever you're dealing with here. This person that you could be dealing with has a very seducing quality about them. They might even be sneaky with you or be underhanded with you. And it's challenging you. You really had to up your game with this person, Aries. And honestly, that's probably why you've had to withdraw from this air sign as well. Like you're turning your back on this air sign. You're like, I can't take this anymore. I can't play your games anymore. You know, there's obviously you're chasing someone here. You can see on a horse, a black horse, um, you know, you are, you're pursuing, you're fighting for this. You're trying to catch this. It could be a guy. Um, it could be a female, it just could be a situation and your eye has been intent on this person, on this situation. You're like, you're mine. However, with this personality, they're not easy to catch. They're tricky. They're calculating. You've had to do a lot of speculating, a lot of observing of their character. You're trying to figure this person out or figure the situation out. It's causing you a lot of mental stress. And that's probably Aries why you're attracted to them because they're a challenge and you love the challenge, but I do feel that it is taxing you. It has been draining you and it's causing you a little emotional distress. This person or this, it could even be a situation that's got you irritated or aggravated. Um, they're very cool. They don't show their emotions. They don't show their intentions towards you. And that drives you probably a little crazy because you want to know where you stand. You, you know, you're up front with your intentions and you're like, where are you at? So the challenge here is that there could be some secretive, um, deceit kind of gossiping going on. It could be at your place of work. It could be in a relationship with a family member, with a friend. And I just feel like you have been waiting to figure the situation out, you know, and you're getting tired of it. You know, you're just like, I can only take so much. I mean, Aries, you're very, very tough. Like you do not give up easily. In fact, you probably never will give up, but I feel that this news or the situation that you're trying to understand isn't coming as quickly as you had hoped. So that's kind of where the challenge lies. And that is why you might need to take a little bit of time for yourself. Okay, Aries, so let's look at the path towards your fulfillment this month. What are the strategies, the plans to be made, and what's going to help you uh, with all the issues that you're facing? We have the beautiful King of Wands energy. This is your pure energy. This is a fire sign, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's a strong, masculine figure, someone that's very authoritative. This is someone, Aries, that you respect. This is someone that you can trust. This is someone that your gut and your intuition is going to lead you to. This is an experienced person. So I feel like for a lot of you, you're meant to look to this person. Um, you're meant to seek counsel, seek advice, seek wisdom. He's always ready to help. It could be a father figure. It could be a teacher. It could just be a friend that has a sense of authority. It could very likely be a fire sign, another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person is going to understand you. They're going to know the best way to um, instruct you and to give you advice because they know what you're about. They know how you operate. They know how you tick. They know what's important to you. They understand how you function. This person, you know, and if this is you, this could also be Aries. This could be the energy that you're meant to take. Maybe whatever you have been going through has rattled your cage. You know, your passions and your, um, your intensity and your anger or whatever it is, is flaring a little bit. Okay. And so the answer to this, that what's going to help you in, in spite of everything that's going on is, is to take on the King of Wands energy. The King of Wands energy is honest. Okay. They're upfront. They don't, you know, they don't try to hide behind a false self. They're also incredibly strong. They're optimistic. They're always hoping and believing the best. They're confident. They know who they are. And, you know, if you're looking to improve your work situation or open new doors or convince clients or bring in new business, whatever this is, 
this person is incredible at motivating with their words. They know all the right things to say at the right time. This is an entrepreneurial spirit. So if you are considering striking out on your own, it's almost like being your own boss, Aries, you know, being your own person. That's, that's important for you. You need to have that freedom and you would be very good at that. This is about you finding enthusiasm for the projects that you're truly interested in. You know, spark your ideas. Your ideas are fresh. They're new. They're innovative. Like you have been blessed with creativity. That's one of your great gifts and you have the courage to act upon it. I just feel that for many of you, there's a dynamic person in your life that can help you at this time. And this person is going to have excellent vision and be able to give you counsel on where to move next, where to go next. Maybe you just need to have a cup of coffee with this person, maybe in an evening, uh, maybe early in the morning, but you're just going to have a heart to heart. And I feel that it's just going to put you on that path that you need to, that you, where you need to be right now. For the right attitude to have towards yourself and others, Aries, we have the three of wands, another fire energy. So... Aries, what you need to do right now is to, to have the bigger picture. You are, you've already accomplished a lot, but there's still more work to be done. This is you out scattering your seed. And the thing is about this guy is that this person is not afraid of hard work. Aries, you're not afraid to, to work your tushy off for the things that you believe in, the things that you're passionate about. You're willing to get up early. You're willing to stay late. You are ambitious. Whatever this is, you're like, even if it's a relationship, whatever you're passionate about, you're willing to do what other people aren't willing to do. And this card is saying, use wisdom as well, because if you go and scatter your seed on a day that it's not going to be very effective, you know, that's why you need to counsel. And that's why you need to have conversations with mentors or, you know, people that inspire you because this is about you gaining the knowledge and the intelligence and the awareness. It's not about working harder. It's about working smarter. Learn, learn about your situation. Learn about the people that you're dealing with. Learn about other personalities. Look at this as a growing period. Look at this as stepping back and looking at the bigger picture and that you are looking at longer term rewards and that you're going to, you know, it's going to pay off because you're doing this solid work and have confidence and know that you're moving forward in your goals. All right. So by the end of the month, let's look at the realization or the outcome. We have the king of pentacles, cha-ching, cha-ching, <laughs> the banker. Money, 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 honey. So Aries, you know, you're good at producing wealth. Either this is you taking stock of what you have attained thus far, reaping financial rewards. Also, once again, you could be counseling with someone that is very smart with investments, smart with finance, smart with money. This could be an earth energy, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could also just be you saying, you know what? I'm going to take a very grounded approach. Like I realized where maybe I was being a little more impulsive. Now I'm going to hold back. I'm going to get smarter. I'm going to know my facts. I'm going to know my numbers. You're just going to get a solid head on your shoulder by the end of the month. You're going to just be grounded Aries and you're going to be heading towards wealth in whatever field that you choose. Someone could be favoring you. Okay. If you're in school or you're looking to intern or something like that, this person could help you from an economic standpoint. Someone may believe in your visions. They may want to invest with you Aries because you have unique ideas. So some of you could be dealing with someone that's like, that's a great idea. Let's do business. So I feel that you are going to be cultivating friendship and relationship with two very strong masculine figures that are authoritative, that are going to help you get to your next level, your next step. This could be a banker. It could be someone in management. It could be a financer, a builder, um, but you are moving on up. And what a perfect month to do that in your birthday month, Aries. So the only thing I can see is someone testing you a little bit, kind of distracting you that you're feeling a little, you know, a challenge, but I know you like that anyway. And you might need to take a little bit of time for yourself, but overall, I think this is going to be a phenomenal growth month for you. Okay. So I love this. This is so interesting. Um, expectations, hopes, fears for love. I really felt like you were dealing with an air sign and I think this confirms it. So for all of you ladies out there, you have been looking at some king of swords 
an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, and also it could be a queen of swords for the males, or vice versa. This can represent several things. Um, you have your eye on someone. I feel that you've been really, either you're communicating with this person or you've been trying to communicate with this person. Communication is very important for you at this time. And I feel that you've been very upfront with this, this individual. You have spoken the truth. You've been honest. You've been forthright. You have not been deceptive about your intentions. You're like, this is my truth. This is who I am. And I also feel, Aries, that, you know, you're doing your best to not get too emotional. You're doing your best to give this person space. You're trying not to let your, your uh, heart rule your head. This, whatever this is, um, if you're single in a relationship, I just feel that you're taking it pretty seriously at this time, which you don't always take it seriously. So that is interesting. And you're really trying to think this situation through. You're trying to come up with a clear point of view you're trying to look at all sides of the equation. Like that is why that person is really kind of testing you because this person's intelligent. This person is sharp and you're realizing that you can't, you can't push this person around. You can't bully this person around. You are used to getting what you want Aries. You're used to having your way. And you're realizing that you have to develop mental discipline in order to make this successful you need the challenge, right? So that is why I feel like you're being drawn or attracted to someone of this energy. If it's not an air sign, it could be an earth sign. It could be a water sign, whoever this person is. And this could be you too, Aries. Um, they're acting like a cool customer. They're not, they're not showing everything that's within them. And I think that that's kind of either driving you crazy or maybe you're driving someone else crazy. <laughs> This situation may not be overly romantic at this time. It may be cooler and more intellectual. Like maybe you're having a debate, you're having conversation. Um, you know, there's a lot of communication or it could be through email, text, or that's what you're seeking. That's what you're desiring. You, you want to have someone that you can talk to at the end of the day and just banter and BS with. And independence is important to you and to this other person or to the potential that you are wanting to date. They don't need to have a relationship. They're not overly needy. They're not overly clingy. And so ultimately I feel that you're going to be in your head when it comes to love. You're really trying Aries. You're really trying to not let your passions rule you. You're really trying to have discipline and to think things through in your life. It's important for you because you have big goals. You have big dreams. You know, you you're valuing yourself. You realize that you're special and you realize that you're unique and you know, you know that you can, you know that you're idealistic in love. Like, you know that you can want a fairy tale or feel like it's a fairy tale and you just don't want to be disappointed. You want to keep a cool, calm, and collected perspective on your love life. And, and it could be the person that you're seeking kind of has the same mentality. So I feel like that is kind of the energy surrounding love for you in April. And so the obstacle or the challenge to overcome, we have the queen of wands. So this is interesting. This is your energy, Aries. Um, it's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It is the feminine version of the sign. So to me, this is like your emotional side, the feminine side, um, you know, maybe the passionate, jealous, possessive. It's not negative. It's out of love. It's out of passion. But I feel like this may be what you're trying to temper because whoever you're dealing with, whatever challenges, and maybe if you're single, maybe this is just like you don't want romance to get in the way. You don't want to get all emotional or too passionate about anything because you have too many goals and dreams. Like you just want to stay cool. You don't want to get carried away. And I do feel that some of you may be doubting yourself, which you absolutely should not, Aries. Like you absolutely should not. But you know what? You're only human. And you maybe you've gone through a lot of battles in love. Maybe you've had your heart broken in love. And normally this is your energy. Normally, you know, you have no problem taking charge of the situation. You have no problem being completely independent and having total faith and belief in yourself. But if this is the challenge or the obstacle, it could be that, you know, this isn't coming as easily. Maybe you're just doubting yourself, doubting your personality. Like you're, you're having to try to adjust yourself to, to make someone else happier, to make a relationship work. And so you're like, well, what do I do? Like damned if I do damned, if I don't kind of thing. She also is incredibly optimistic about the situation. So 
it could just be that, you know, struggling to kind of let that negative voice or doubt creep in about your relationships or just about where you're at and just not to get down. Like you may put your heart open to someone. You may be like, here I am, you know, I'm hundred percent committed. I'm ready. I'm open. And then they shut you down, you know, and it's, it can be tough sometimes to not take that personally. Or, you know, you believe everyone has a good heart and you give everyone a lot of chances, but maybe someone's not being as open and generous with you. So uh, facing these realities, facing these different personality types, I feel, you know, could be a temptation to, to get you down. And, you know, the key here is, is to cheer yourself up, to try to look on the bright side, to be encouraging to those around you, even if they're not encouraging you, you know, you might have to be the giver. It's about you knowing your strengths, Aries, and using them and not being afraid to do so. You might need to be a bit more adventurous, more brave this month in love. And you might have to be fearless in the face of either opposition or competition. Because I do feel for some of you that this is competition. I feel like another Leo Sagittarius Aries is competing for this King of Swords. And you might have to just put on that brave face. You might have to be like, you know what? I'm dying inside, but I'm not going to show anyone because you can see she has like this purple background. She's trusting her intuition, even if she's just struggling, you know, um, because if there's competition or opposition in your love life, you have to stand strong. You have to find that inner strength and power, even if you don't feel it. And it can be tough just if you don't feel it, but I feel like that's going to be the challenge here. So let's look at the realization or the outcome by the end of the month. We have a beautiful card for you, the chariot, the sign of cancer. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer by the end of the month, but this I feel for many of you is your own internal emotional battle. And that's kind of honestly what I've been sensing throughout all of your readings. You know, you are a fiery, passionate, intense person and it's beautiful. That's how God made you. You're fire. You know, you're not meant to be dimmed. However, with that being said, every element has to learn balance and every element has to learn balance within other signs that are different from us. So by the end of the month, Aries, here you are, you've got to have your breastplate and your helmet. You're like a warrior and you're grabbing the reins with both hands. You know, you're stepping up to the plate, Aries. You're like, you know what? Any challenge that comes up against me, I will conquer. I will overcome. You have, you know, the dark and the light. You have two energies. You're wrestling yourself. You're wrestling your emotions. You're going to do anything to reach your goal, whether this is a current relationship, whether you're on your own or your hopes and desires for love, you're going to do what it takes, Aries. You will not accept anything but winning. You will not accept anything but being successful in your love life. You want to dominate the situation, really. You want to come out on top. You want to be the victor. You want to win. And I feel that you're going to do everything in your power to beat out the competition. I feel also that if someone has kind of tested you by the end of the month, you will feel more self-confident about the situation, about yourself, about your power in the relationship. You're going to have more of an identity. You're going to have more grasp on who you are, on who the person is that you're dating or considering dating. And I feel that you're going to have a renewed sense of faith. And you're really going to be continually working on mastering your emotions. That is the key here. You know, with the Queen of Wands and the Chariot, it's about mastering your passions and using them to accomplish your goals, not to work against you. You'll have to curb your impulses. You'll have to continue to maintain discipline and you might just have to hold in your anger, which can be challenging. So you might have to blow off steam in a different way. But what's beautiful Aries is by the end of the month, you're going to be showing your authority. You're going to be showing your confidence and your leadership, and you're going to be heading in the right direction, the direction of your choice, whatever that is for you.